Her Majesty's adorning with a flag pin and a smile. We embark without delay on the duties of the day. First we hold a little meeting for advisors while we're eating, and they outline their agenda for review. But ignoring their advice, we then go out and do precisely what the lobbyists instruct us both to do. <laughs> <laughs> then we make a formal statement to the press, and what they report is anybody's guess. When we finally finish talking shop, we begin an endless stream of photo ops. Rub our sleeves up in the baby ship, and kiss a baby, we're a heart attack, and pretend to do things we've never done. Where we dine with party buddies and the best we can just forget. Like a pair of trembling mouses, we appear before both houses and we'll see if we can make them raise the ceiling on the debt. <laughs> oh, philosophers may say, come the troubles and the game, but the duties are delightful and the privilege is great. And the privilege and pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is to run our little errands for the ministers of state. Philosophers may sing on the troubles of the king, yet the duties are delightful and the privilege is great. And the privilege and pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is to run on little errands for the ministers of state. In the afternoon, while waiting for the congressman debating, and if things begin to settle to a board, we with little hesitation grab a map and pick a nation, and by evening we'll be marching off to war. <laughs> Lips of bankers may just ask us out to tea. <laughs> and they win our friendship most persuasively. <laughs> Take their presents and we stuff them in a sack. To be channeled to our shady super pack. Now, <laughs> <laughs> that is just a fantastic observation. You expect us to be fine. So, with little contemplation, even less imagination, we will both pretend we've got one and we'll call it 999. <laughs> <laughs> to our chamber, but before we shut our eyes, we receive some news and notice from the Swedish who inform us that for reasons as yet unexplained, we've won the Nobel Prize. Philosophers <laughs> 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 we sing on the troubles of the king, but the pleasures there are many, and the worries there are none, and the culminating pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is the gratifying feeling that our duty has been done. <laughs> Philosophers may sing of the troubles of the king, but of pleasures there are many, and of worries there are none. Of the culminating pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is the gratifying feeling that our duty Wanting to do this or wanting to do that or saying it's my turn now. No, they let us have all the fun to ourselves and never seem to grudge it. It makes one feel quite selfish. It almost seems like taking advantage of their good nature. How nice they were about the double rations. Uh, most considerate. Uh, but there's only one thing wanting to make us thoroughly comfortable. And that is? The dear little wives we left behind us <coughs> three months ago. Yes, it is dull without female society. We can live without everything else, but we can't live without that. And if we have that in perfection, we have everything. There's only one recipe for perfect happiness. <laughs> The Rubicon, take a pair of rosy lips, take a figure trimly planned, such as admiration wet, be particular in this, take a tender little hand, it's okay, Taking 
keep them if you can, if you can. Take all these from the king and take king. Keep them if you can, if you can. Take my counsel, happy man. If you can, if you can, if you can, act upon it, if you can.